YNW Melly is on his way to becoming one of the biggest stars in hip hop. Melly's melodic style of hip hop gave him cosigns from some of the top rappers in the game right now, like Future and Young Thug. YNW Melly even managed to get a feature from Kanye West for his song Mixed Personalities, which has almost 70 million views on the Lyrical Lemonade YouTube channel. But even with such a bright future ahead of him, YNW Melly just couldn't stay out of trouble. His latest arrest in Florida has prosecutors trying to give him the death penalty. Curious on how YNW Melly got into this situation? Well, we have you covered. Here is an exclusive inside look at the criminal history of YNW Melly. YNW Melly's first arrest took place on October 19th, 2015, when he was just 16 years old. YNW Melly was on the 1400 block of 16th Street, just east of his high school, when he took out a semi-automatic weapon and fired it at a group of three people. After firing, YNW Melly ditched his weapon and began running away from the scene. Moments later, police arrived and talked to the three people, who told them that it was Melly who shot at them. The police later tracked down Melly and arrested him on the spot. They also recovered the semi-automatic weapon later that evening. YNW Melly was charged with three counts of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon and one count of discharging a firearm in public. Melly was eventually sentenced to one year in a Florida jail. While in jail, YNW Melly wrote his infamous song, Murder On My Mind, that later became his biggest song to date, with almost 230 million views on YouTube. Nobody in jail even knew Melly was a rapper, but after three months, YNW Melly started rapping for another inmate, and that inmate really liked what he heard. He liked it so much that he began encouraging YNW Melly to take his music seriously, which Melly did once he got out. YNW Melly's second arrest occurred on June 30th, 2018. According to authorities, YNW Melly and his friend YNW Bortland were arrested and charged with possession of marijuana, possession of a weapon or ammunition by a convicted felon, and drug paraphernalia. The weapons charge was later dropped due to insufficient evidence, and the drug charges were also downgraded to misdemeanors, according to court records. After staying out of trouble for almost six months, YNW Melly was arrested once again in Fort Myers, Florida, stemming from his previous arrest back in June of 2018. Once again, not much information was made public about this arrest, but according to court reports, Melly pled no contest to the charges, but was later ruled guilty and sentenced to jail with time served. Melly was released from the Lee County Jail on January 25th, 2019. YNW Melly's latest arrest happened on February 13th, 2019. According to multiple reports, YNW Melly and his friend YNW Bortland were both arrested and charged with two counts of first degree murder for the deaths of YNW Melly's friends, YNW Sack Chaser and YNW Juvie. The backstory behind all this begins on October 26, 2018, when YNW Sack Chaser and YNW Juvie were shot and killed in an alleged drive-by shooting. The two were both shot multiple times and later dropped off at Memorial Hospital Miramar, where they were pronounced dead shortly after arrival. A day after the murders, Melly posted an Instagram with a photo of himself with the now deceased YNW Sack Chaser and YNW Juvie, with a caption being, they took my brothers from me over jealousy. I know y'all watching over me. It's hashtag YNW for life, at YNW Sack Chaser 1, at YNW Juvie for life and after. They wanna see me break down and stop or in jail or in a box, but my homies still need me. Their parents still need me. Their family still need me. Till we meet again, my twins. My slimes. Police continued to investigate this murder and the evidence they recovered told a completely different story than what YNW Melly and YNW Bortland were telling them. According to court documents, investigators claimed that the phone records allegedly confirmed that YNW Melly was at the scene of the crime when it took place. The autopsy reports also allegedly claimed that Melly shot Sack Chaser and Juvie from inside the car and that the bullet holes on the outside of the car were staged by Melly and Bortland to throw off law enforcement. A fellow YouTuber by the name of Tim Stark made a really good video going over the evidence against Melly, and you guys should check it out if you're looking for a more detailed explanation. The link to that video will be in the description below. After compiling all the evidence against YNW Melly and YNW Bortland, the police arrested Bortland on February 12th, 2019, and Melly on February 13th, 2019, on two counts of first degree murder. The day after his arrest, YNW Melly had a court hearing that ordered him to remain in jail without bond for the time being. Seven days later, on February 21st, 2019, detectives allegedly linked Melly and Bortland to to another fatal shooting two years prior. Sources say that Melly and Bortland allegedly exchanged gunfire with a group of people after someone threw a bottle at a passing car. During the gunfire, Deputy Gary Chambliss was killed by a stray bullet and detectives believe that either YNW Melly or YNW Bortland 
fired the fatal shot. No charges were officially filed, but detectives have made it pretty clear that Melly and Bortland are the main suspects. A little less than a month later, YNW Melly pled not guilty to all charges against him. After pleading not guilty, a video started going around social media of YNW Melly's mother criticizing YNW Sack Chaser after claiming that Sack Chaser threatened her with a gun. This video stirred up a lot of controversy since fans speculated that the video could possibly incriminate YNW Melly, but at the time of this recording, nothing has really been said about the video. Almost a month later, reports came out that YNW Melly hired fellow rapper Lil Boozy's lawyer to help him out with this case. This lawyer is the same exact lawyer that got Boozy acquitted of his murder charges back in 2012. A few days after that announcement, the state of Florida came forward and stated that they are seeking the death penalty for YNW Melly. The four factors in this decision were that the murder was done for pecuniary gain, that it was especially heinous, atrocious, or cruel, that it was committed in a cold, calculated, and premeditated manner without any pretense of moral legal justification, and that they can prove Melly is a criminal gang member. The families of YNW Sack Chaser and YNW Juvie have came forward saying that they fully support the death penalty against YNW Melly. There have been no other updates in this case, and I'm gonna be honest, it's not looking too good for YNW Melly. Well, there you have it, the entire criminal history of YNW Melly. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure to hit the thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this. Also, feel free to hit the notification bell as well to be notified whenever we upload. That's all I have for today, I'm out.